So now we'll go over the 10 best note-taking apps for effortless note-taking. And if you don't know what effortless note-taking is, it's a constant habit of writing things down, easily looking up everything you've written, and using all this to create valuable stuff. And for this very specific style of note-taking, some apps are better than others. I've now tested the most popular apps and selected the top 10 based on these 7 criteria which you can see on the screen right here. And with that said, let's go over to number 10, which is Drafts. Drafts is an iOS app that is also available on Mac, but if you use a PC on Android, it's unavailable. And since many use PC, including myself, having only one note-taking app for one device makes it extremely limiting and not very beneficial in the long run. But the first thing that you will notice with Drafts is that it's extremely easy to capture new ideas. Whenever you open the app, you're free to type. And even if this app looks very basic, it supports markdown and any formatting text, except for highlighting. But even if it's free and you can export single notes, it's still like capture only, in my opinion. Number nine is Obsidian. It's become very popular recently among note takers. So you might be surprised that it's number nine and not like number four or number three. Here's the reason. What sets Obsidian apart is its local nature, which is in direct conflict with the effortless note-taking practice. You have local folders or vaults in which every note is saved as a plain text file using Markdown. And to sync between different devices, Obsidian has its own cloud service, which you unfortunately have to pay for, $10 a month. So in other words, not as accessible, but extremely easy to transfer since you have the files. But besides that, it's still relatively easy to capture your ideas. The search bar is good and the linking features are where Obsidian truly shines. If you're watching this and are a big fan of Obsidian, you can make it work for effortless note-taking. Number 8 is Google Keep. and It's a very lightweight note-taking app that integrates seamlessly across Google services. And it's perfect if you're using Gmail or Google Docs or Google Calendar a lot. All is relatively easy to create, search and pin different notes. There are no formatting options and you cannot even bold text. And as someone who's used a progressive summarization very frequently which you highlight and bold certain parts of the text, that's something that I want to see in all the note-taking apps that are on the top. And since Google Keep doesn't have that, it puts it in number eight on this list. Number seven is SimpleNote. And SimpleNote can be accessed on any device and as its name suggests, it's very easy to learn. But like Google Keep, the formatting options are very low or non-existent depending on you ask. Hence it's number seven. It's easy to find notes since the latest modified notes is on top of the list. Plus the ability to pin certain notes or favorites. Number six is Apple Notes. It might surprise many of you since I put drafts and obsidian so low because they are not so accessible as desired. And then we go to Apple Notes, which is like Apple Notes for Apple devices, right? But you can access the Apple Notes via your computer, whether it's PC or Mac. And aside from being very minimalist and simple to use, Apple Notes provide many formatting options. But unfortunately, you cannot pin notes on the computer, but have to do it via the iPhone or Mac app. And on iPhone, Apple Notes, unsurprisingly, is the most convenient note-taking app. Especially since you can create notes via the control center below. But for Android users, I recommend one of the other apps instead. Number five is Craft, which is a fairly new note-taking app, but has become quite popular. And what makes it stand out is its visual appeal. You can style various blocks and notes in many different colors and themes. Even the basic functionality such as creating notes, retrieving and linking notes, and formatting are top-notch. They even have a daily note feature connected with the calendar view, which I really like. The major downside though is its limitation on the free plan. You you can only input 100 blocks, which are not many notes or many words for that matter. Otherwise, you have to pay $5 a month to get full access. But if it's not a limitation for you, I suggest that you go for craft. Number four is Rome Research. It's become a very popular app amongst note takers. First, you not have a notes view, but more in terms of bullet points. Each day, there is a new daily note, which you can list out more bullets. You create new notes by quick capture on the phone, which is a very good feature, or typing two square brackets. You also use the same square brackets when linking to existing notes, which is what Rome Research optimizes for. And Rome Research has extremely good markdown capabilities, which you can learn from the comprehensive help box on the right, allowing you to create and link new notes at the speed of thought. Yes, it's very fast. You can also set up cool features such as a Pomodoro timer, word counter, calculators, and embed YouTube videos even. All this combined with excellent search, hand favorites, supreme bite
bi-directional linking and easy export makes Rome Research the most impressive note-taking app I've ever seen. But if it's so good, it comes with a price. And with $15 a month, which is by far the most expensive among the apps, it's a premium service. It also has a steep learning curve and it took a while for me to understand the whole concept. So it's not beginner friendly. But if you want the best and most advanced note-taking app that exists currently, I recommend Rome Research. Regardless if you're going to use your own research or not, don't forget to click the like button so the algorithm can spread the video to more people who are also very interested in effortless note-taking. Thank you for being awesome, friend. Number three is Notion, and it's an extremely popular note-taking app, and I myself used it for many months. Aside from being completely free, it has many advanced features such as linked databases and normal databases, dashboards, Kanban boards, and tables, and many more. But it still has a very simple layout, satisfying both beginners and advanced note takers. It's easy to create notes and find them, although the search function is slightly slower than average. Its web clipper makes it excellent to save whatever from the web. It easily integrates with other services and can export notes very fast. So it's overall a very powerful all around note taking app for whatever needs you have. Number two is mem.ai. And if you subscribe to this channel, you might be a little bit surprised why it's number two and not number one. Because after all, this is a note taking app that I use. And I've even made a full video about its benefits and drawbacks and so. But as a quick summary, mem is exceptional for creating, searching, and linking notes. All it looks very simple and clean, it has many automatic features such as Mem Spotlight to save anything quickly from the web, daily notes, templates, integration with other apps, easy exports, and even a random note feature. Not to mention Mem X, which might revolutionize the note-taking industry. However, it's only one iOS app in beta and not an Android app yet. The app is still quite unstable, or it's way better now than the previous video. Still, the issues regarding reliability and accessibility put it just behind number one on this list. But I have a good feeling that the BEM team will claim the number one spot very soon, as long as they fix the drawbacks. But until this has happened, the number one spot goes to Evernote. And Evernote is an OG note-taking app, which has been around for 14 years. Yes, it's a very long time. But it's still today the most popular note-taking app for a very good reason. Evernote is very user-friendly and reliable, but with some powerful features. You can save almost anything there is thanks to its capture capabilities. It integrates seamlessly with almost all applications out there today. And you can even draw sketches and paint, which is pretty cool. It's also very straightforward to create notes and format them however you like. Evernote has a very fast search and you can favorite notes too. And although Evernote does not officially have linking capabilities, you can copy and paste links just fine. So it works exactly like linking. The only downside is the cost, although the free plan is sufficient enough in my opinion. But with only $2 a month, you get access to its well-developed task manager and can search within notes and PDFs. If you're a dedicated Evernote user, I recommend using the premium version, although the free one is very good too. But as I said in the very beginning of this video, the most important thing is the practice itself. None of this will work if you don't use it daily. To learn more about effortless note-taking itself and how to make anything you ever do in your work significantly easier and less stressful, you can click this video right here.